a comedian, hey, tell me a funny story, tell me a joke. It's like, well, then that's the worst thing to say to someone because you're going to draw a blank. Wait, you're a comedian? Yeah, like, it's like asking a comedian to say, hey, tell a joke, like on the fly, like, um, it's, it's the worst thing. Because when you're told to be funny, just like spontaneously, it's, it's kind of like the worst thing. You kind of just have to be just in the moment. These lights have me going gaga goo goo <laughs> over lights. <laughs> goo goo gaga. Goo goo Here you go. Thank you. Okay, set. So I have like an hour and a half. Right. Let's go through, figure out what we still need. Justin's on his way. So if there's anything we need, we can send him a text and just, you know, get it over here. Photos are tomorrow, right? Uh, okay, this is good. I feel like all their accessories works. Especially with the green, we need more like neutral tones that kind of pick off of it. Green chair is fine. This one, we need the decorative pillow, which we have it's in, the other in the other room. We need the accessory and then maybe just a wipe down of the table because this was here from the last selling attempt, <laughs> I would say. <laughs> this time it's going to work. <laughs> Let's go to the dining room. This is actually really interesting to me because typically we have like the living room in the front and I saw the dining table here and I realized why because they had this built in, almost like a serving station, right? If we put all of their stuff, because I feel like they have some stuff in the family room too we can't use, maybe we can put them away in the cabinet and then I'll let the builders know that their own stuff is here. This staircase is amazing. I always see this in the magazines but all of these homes we've done, nobody has ever had this. this right. It's spectacular. And even in like bigger homes on a grand scale, just really sets the mood. I like the white. White is the way to go. Okay, so they didn't end up putting the light fixture, which is fine because I feel like they already have the detail with the fireplace. And this is great. I love how the green picks up the office area. So we're just kind of bringing in the different elements of the house into all the spaces. So this is perfect. I love our nice clean looking dining chairs. Nice oval table. We typically don't have these in our projects, but this one is really nice. So here we're putting in some really nice custom sectionals that uh, Sanaz had made for a project a little while ago, but they work really, really well in these sort of funny spaces that we're trying to fill and here we're making sort of a makeshift um, living room beside the great room so it's just a little bit of a nicer area yeah. but uh, we don't have like we don't have pieces to make like it's kind of a mix between like an accent chair and a couch you know the space for like two couches so we just put these and that kind of works really nice with the area okay so this room here wow this looks really good set i love this setup so far so good. Right? I think when we were choosing the furniture for here, because you have, so this I did not think at the consult that this was a living room. Cause it's just an open space in front of the kitchen right. essentially, right? So then having the kitchen right here, you would, I did not think this was the living room. And then the family room here. So this is a big challenge I feel. Combining the living room and the family room together. It's that like, Sofa, sofa, the breakup here really worked out well yeah. with the end table. Very and this cheap. is MDF, right? So it already has its design, we can't do much. This is perfect for here. The three sculptures that we have, it's really gonna give it height and bring in all the golds and the black accents that we have. I'm glad we didn't do an art here. Yeah, because this is going to come together really well. Yeah, the sculptures are perfect. I love using sculptures. Like sometimes instead yeah. of art and mirror, just add so much. We need to add more to our inventory. We will. Family room. Okay, so this area here is so grand. Oh my God, they probably have like 12 foot ceilings here. I love the windows. The windows, the open concept. Love that we brought in the greenery from the outside, bring it in. So our beautiful sectional, high five, high five <laughs> on that one. We made it happen. Last minute order that was and we made it in five like five, five days. days. So so then our sectional is going to go long 
short, right? I feel like we should move this up to for, so the coffee table centered with the art piece because this is actually a little bit different. They have the wall unit off center with the fireplace. Typically, so fireplace would be in the center, right. right, of the family room. So we have to shift this over a bit so we're centered at least with this. We need to move over probably like two, three feet. Then our sectional will sit there. And then we have the two little bronze stools. Well, no, that's our end table for the one side. For this side here. Either this side or that side. I feel like that side we might have more room, but we'll see, right? Put the two stools here. We have our custom tray that we had done. Right. Right, so that's ready. We're gonna use that today. We picked some perfect accessories for it. I'm happy with the, with, the, with the turnout of this because pulling everything together within days of having the right perfect pieces, I feel like all the stars lined up for this project. <laughs> this is perfect. The brass and the black, the brass and the black, and look how well they actually match each other. We were asked to do a rectangle table. I still feel like you have the space, but then again, you have the door going out, right? So it would be blocking. The round worked well it will, with yeah. the little black chairs, mm -hmm. right? It's not too powerful. Blends in with whatever else is on this side with all the blacks and the golds. Okay, perfect. So the main floor is good. Oh, I want to see the powder room. Let's go have a look mm. at the powder room. So Seth, we still have to get our pillows together. This is the part that I wanted actually extra pillows for. I'm, I'm pretty sure we brought because I always pack extra pillows. This is really cool. I like this. It's like a waiting area. Like you're for waiting the for the room. next person to come out. And you're like, doo -doo -doo. <laughs> This is really cool. I love this feature wall that they did here. Kind of reminds me of that Gatsby style, no? Yeah. Yeah, it's really nice. With this, this is absolutely stunning. Is this the Sahara Noir? I think it is, right? With the integrated mirror. That's custom. This is really nicely done. I love these fine details that they put in. Love this architectural detail in this house. I mean, every element of this house is really special, but this one right here really took my breath away because I don't get to see it that often. And to see it live, it's absolutely stunning. Although I would say I think that it would be a little bit high maintenance because you would constantly have to be painting over it to keep that nice, clean aesthetic. But a great idea, and people without kids, you can really get to enjoy it for a long time. This, again, I'm going back to the lights. I love this. Although, something I would do that would add a little bit more detail to this is add Edison bulbs. They're a little bit more dim, but I feel like it will really give a nice effect to the light fixture and kind of really cozy things up, dims it up a little bit. It's absolutely stunning. It takes a lot of lights. Could get expected. So here we have our headboard. Coming into our secondary bedroom. It's a nice neutral, low profile headboard. It's something a little bit more modern to go with the rest of the house. And it's gonna fit nicely as you see. It's not oversized. We're using a double bed frame in this room, even though it's a little bit of a larger room. Could probably accommodate a king. We wanna show them what the space is gonna look like and not seem over cluttered. So we used a double today. Yes. Working her magic. Yes, you chopped the pillow. Yes. I like it. This looks awesome. So this was one of the irregular shape rooms, Jess. And when I did my console, we were like five of us standing in here. Where do we put the bed? What do we do with this? Right? Because yeah. you don't have like a full wall yeah. that you could work with. So they have the open concept closet here, but I think it looks good. We have an end table yeah. coming still. I think, I think so. so, the C yeah. shape with the cement top. So we kept it nice and neutral. I love this wall, it turned out really great. So a lot of whites going on and I felt that we needed a little bit of pop. So brought in some of the gold that's been used throughout the house. Just neutral, neutral fabrics, has a little bit of crocodile fabric detail brought in the gold and the artwork. We did a double size bed here and we're gonna do a nightstand with it just to put some accessories to show that although this room is small, you can still fit so much into it and make it look spectacular. And then the bathroom here, this is really cool too, Jess. 
Love all of these patterns that they use. Nice flow throughout the whole house. So again, a very differently designed master bedroom, but absolutely looks stunning. So previously we had, they have the paneled wall here, which is spectacular. I love the details that they did. And I like how the paneling goes so nicely with the hardwood floor. So you don't have that big contrast between the dark and the light. It kind of follows through and it's uniform. And they did it here as well with the wall unit. And then we're gonna add some big pieces of art to show that you could do either a custom mirror here, you could put up a big TV. So we changed out the nightstand, we put in our brass, and it's really nice that it blends in so well with the wall. Again, you don't have the big contrast everywhere. We're bringing in some accent chairs. This looks great. We wanted to show a little vanity area where you can sit down and get, you know, get yourself all dolled up. And this was a great idea with the black and brass. And then we have the little bench, some accessories. This bathroom is spectacular. I was looking at the photos and I was like, this is a great idea how they did this. So they stayed away from your typical rectangle uh, mirrors or square mirrors. And they did these oval shaped mirrors with the brass on this marble is absolutely stunning. Love the details of this house. Good, so we're waiting for the second load to come. Justin and them should be here soon. And we're gonna wrap up. We gotta finish today, tomorrow's photos, and then it's going on the market and hopefully we'll get sold soon. Thank you guys for joining us on our behind the scenes of staging this spectacular house. We have a lot of fun as always staging projects like this because they are a little bit different than some of our other projects. It was great having you guys with us and I promise you next week I'm going to do a full review on this house so you can actually see the finished product. If you haven't already, like, comment and subscribe to our channel and don't forget to check us out on Instagram, Style with Sanas, and we'll catch you next time. I'm going to go back to work now. Bye!